All right, welcome back to another programming video. Today's going to be a WPF video, and today we're going to talk about how do I play a sound when clicking on something, in particular, an image. And this came from a user submitted question in the comments on a WPF video of mine. Um, I promised them I'd, I'd make a video. It's probably too late now since when they posted, they probably already figured it out. But in case any of you have the same question in the future, I thought let's just go ahead and do it. And if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe. And that way you don't miss fun content like this. This is just us having fun programming together, hopefully learning from each other. And let me show you the comment that was made. Uh, I don't know if you see this, but if you do, please make a tutorial about how to, when you click on an image, it plays a sound. And I said, sure, um, I'm making Angular videos, but you know, when that's over. Uh, we can delve into that and that's exactly what I did. So a few things actually, I guess I can just show you the application, the finished product, and then we can make this or recreate this together. But there's two images, two different movies, very good classic movies, Goodfellas is like my top three or in my top three. And if we click on one of them and we'll click on both, each one makes a different sound from the movie. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Okay, so that's from Goodfellas and then Pulp Fiction. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, as you can see, two different images, two different sounds, and hopefully this answers um, your question. And if you want to do something like this, maybe you can get some of your favorite movies, get some you know, sound clips from the movies, and kind of make a bigger version of this. This was actually fun uh, to come up with on the fly. And I found these two clips on this wavesource.com. I don't know how many movies they actually have on here, but they had enough for me. Um, I knew, you know, a few of these movies, so I went ahead and grabbed some of the sound files. So you can just click on these. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. And then hit this download if you want to go this route. But uh, so I grabbed a couple wave files. Yeah, thank you. And then I went ahead and downloaded a few images just from Google Images. And I put them in their own separate folders in this directory called temp on my C drive. So we have a Goodfellas one with both an image and the wave file, just like that. And I have Pulp Fiction with the image and the wave file. So I'm going to open a new instance of Visual Studio 2019. We'll create a brand new project. Um, I'll do WPF app with the .NET framework, and we can call this sound demo. And then here we go, a blank slate. And just as usual, I'm going to flip these and zoom in a little bit, so 100%. And I'm going to switch this grid to a stack panel. And the orientation is going to be horizontal because the two images are going to run from side to side. but if you're following along and you're doing this, maybe you can add some more images. You can have multiple stack panels on top of each other and have rows of images and make a fun little project that way. So there are a few things or a few ways that you can go about doing this. You can either do the mouse down click event on the image. So let me just bring in one of the images. So we'll bring in a tag called image. And I guess we don't even need this closing tag. This can be one giant tag. And then the source is going to be the source of, and since I already have this open, let's just do the source of the Pulp Fiction image. So I'll copy that and paste it right here. And then we'll give it a height of 200 and a width of 300. And something else I can do in the stack panel is um, vertical or no, horizontal alignment is going to be center. So it centers that image for us. There's a few things you can do. Um, you can either do a mouse down click event on the image itself. And the only problem with that is if they right click the image or if they left click the image, it will run the event. Uh, maybe you just want a left click, like a normal click. In that case, that's the route I'm going to go. But just remember, you can use the mouse down click event as well. But I'm going to give this uh, a different way to do it with just the left mouse button clicked down. And there's no click event. So if we look, there's no click event on the image. So how do you do this? Well, the way I do it, 
I will put this image inside of a button. I keep doing this. There we go. So let's take this image. Let's cut it and let's paste it inside of this button. And here we can make the height and width the same as, you know, the image. So height is 200, not 300. And then width is going to be 300. And you can see actually the button is a little bit exposed. That's that gray area right here. So if you wanted to, you can like play around with the height to make sure it's kind of hidden. And then we can do a click event on the button. And then I'll just hit uh, the new event handler and it'll create it and create this new button click event. So we'll check that out in the code behind. And let me go ahead and save it. And uh, let's check out the code behind. So we have this new button click right here, right? And anything inside of this is going to run every time um, that button is clicked or that image is clicked because that image is inside of the button. And just to prove it to you, we can do a message box dot show and just testing just to test it out. So let's try this and make sure it works. And if I click this, we get this message box. This is testing and looks good. So how can I play a sound? Well, we can actually create what's called a sound player. And right off the bat, it's not going to know what that is, but at the very bottom, I can bring in the system.media and that is the namespace we'll need in order to use the sound player. So I'm going to create a new sound player object called player new sound player. And then inside of this new instance of a sound player here, when we're constructing it, I'm going to pass in the path of that wave file. So this guy right here, I'll copy its path. Let's go back and then I'll paste it right here. And then notice it's not going to like these backslashes. So we have to preface this with the at symbol. Okay. And now we can do player dot load. So I'll load up the sound and then player dot play, and that will play the sound. So let's give it a try now and let's click on the image and see if it plays that sound. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. All right, cool looks like it works. So if we want to do the same thing, uh, I would just recommend, let's just copy this whole thing. Let's paste it. And then you can go ahead and change the image. So let's go back a directory here. Let's go to the Goodfellas now. And I'll copy the path to this JPEG and place that at the source. All right, so now we have the right image. And now we can't really have the same click event because we don't want the good or we don't want the Pulp Fiction sound to be played when we click on the Goodfellas image. So what I'm going to do to differentiate it is I'm going to give it an X colon name value and call this button two just for now. And that way when we create a new click event, so I'll do click equals and then double click this new event handler, it'll give it a button two underscore click because it knew it was button two from the name. So now if we go to the code behind, we should see another click event. Yep. And basically I'm just going to copy and paste this. And then the only difference is going to be the path of the wave file. So we'll go steal this and throw that in here. So now we'll start this guy up again and make sure as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. The right sound is played and it is. So that's how you can, uh, play a sound when clicking an image. It doesn't have to just be an image. This can be anything, any anything that has some kind of click event or an event handler, um, you can play a sound too. So hopefully this helps. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you in the future.